Today I'm here with Chris Reifa, who yeah. is joining us from Norway. He's yeah. a content creator who mm -hmm. shares content about electric vehicles. So thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> what can you tell us about your channels? What's your mission? Well, my channel started with just cars in general. And then I transitioned to electric cars three years ago when I bought my first electric car. And since then, I've just rechanneled the focus to be all about electric cars. So that's what I do. I test electric cars, drive them go on road trips, and yeah, make content on EVs and EV-related things. Some people come to my channel because they're looking to buy a specific mm -hmm. electric car. Other people just want to watch, you know, beautiful road trips <laughs> from, from Norway. I just did a video on my trip to here oh, yeah. uh, from Oslo, so maybe people <laughs> want to check that out. Yeah. Oslo to Helsinki in a Volvo uh, XC40. Great, mm -hmm. nice. So you mentioned three years ago you got your first EV. Yeah, three years ago. And what made you decide to go electric? No, I, I live in Norway, so uh, it's just... Uh, natural progression of uh, the car market so we were looking to get a new bigger electric car and because of the uh, the incentives put on electric cars it was just cheaper to get than anything else that wasn't electric and because of the charging infrastructure uh, it just made sense so you kind of stick out now if you don't drive an electric car okay so maybe peer and social pressure yeah okay <laughs> sounds good good reason for sure so Norway is definitely a leader in electric yeah. vehicle adoption mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do you think the world could kind of learn from Norway. What has Norway done right? People around the world uh, from different countries and markets do complain about EV infrastructure mm -hmm. and that they won't work because of A, B and C. But in Norway, we are five to 10 to maybe 15 years ahead of the curve mm -hmm. compared to other markets. So look to Norway to see where your country can be in X amount of years, because it's if it's possible in Norway, it's, it's possible elsewhere. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have the cold climate in the winter, we have the mountains, we have the snow, and we have the cities. <laughs> I mean, and if it's gonna work in our cold climate in the mm -hmm. winter, it's gonna work other places. Yeah, nice, mm -hmm. great tips there. You go on many road trips. Um, yeah. What has been your longest road trip in an EV? Uh, so my longest was to, uh, I went to Genoa in Italy a few years ago. Uh, that was my first big road trip. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was 5,000 kilometers in five days. Impressive. Yeah. And then so on those long trips, mm -hmm. when you're planning EV charging stops, because mm -hmm. it's not all the same in Norway, mm -hmm. what do you consider when you're planning those charging stops? So, so this was two years ago. This was summer of 21 when I did that trip. I did it in a Polestar 2, which has one of the best route planners out there. Mm. But just to pee, be sure, I, I sat down with like a charging map and plotted and took notes in my notebook where the chargers were because this was my mm -hmm. first like big trip through Europe in an electric car. Uh, but since then, like I just went to uh, the south of Germany and I went to Austria a few months ago in a Mercedes EQE, which has also a very good route planner. And this time I didn't have to do anything just nice. trusted the car you trusted it but the car just took care of everything it's okay. like oh so you're not going to reach this charging station because you're driving too fast your consumption is too high and it just reroutes and plus a new one okay. uh so so really it's just if you have a good electric car yeah. with awesome route planning you don't have to think about it yeah that's yeah. great so what are those features at a charging station that kind of make your eyes light up that you're like oh this is a good charging station I'm glad I'm stopping here oh so so what I like personally is just accessibility when you're doing the off-ramp I mean you're following the navigation system but you're in a new place maybe you're like at a gas station or maybe there's like a convenience store or a McDonald's or whatever but it, it's you're new to the place if you're in a new place a new country it's not always easy to, to locate mm -hmm. so like just signage and 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 good uh, like uh, marketing of this charging yeah. station and also just like big parking spots, chargers that are fast, yeah. and also uh, many charging bays. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a great point. Yeah. Now, how many Kim Power charging stations have you been to that have Kim Power chargers if you were to throw out a guess? So just in the two days, I've been to one in Sweden and two or three here in Finland that I've never been to. So okay. just in the past two days, four. <laughs> And I've been to a lot in Norway, mm -hmm. in Denmark, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, Oh, that's I don't amazing. Know. Yeah, yeah. And what are your overall impressions? I know you've done multiple videos at our charging sites. What are your overall impressions if you were to tell someone? What's nice about Kempar is that they do the load balancing. But at the Kempar charging stations, what I really like is that uh, you can just pull up to any of the bays and the charging station will take care of the loading for you. So that's what I really like is that the, 
you, you don't have to have any knowledge. You can pull up with an e-golf and it can just connect and you won't uh, be occupying base and, and so the charging experience won't be slower for the overall public. Okay, so great. Thanks for sharing so much about your experiences. Mm -hmm. And where can people find you and follow you if they want to follow along your journey? So YouTube, Chris Rifa, just straight K-R-I-S-R-I-F-A. Uh, Lovely. Mm -hmm. Great. So thanks very much for joining yeah, us. Thank you. And see you next time.